to be this one. Good. All right, welcome to the Board of Selectmen's meeting of August 23rd, 2017. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay, citizen statements and petitions. Don't Don't see any. Correspondence to the board. None. <laughs> My pen doesn't work. <laughs> oh, so I can have it. No, I'm just <laughs> going to throw it away. Consider a special license from the Men and Upton Youth Soccer Association on September 30th, 2017 from 6 to 10. Yeah, this is something we do, we've done the last couple of years, right? Yeah. Would you like to come up? All right, you guys. Good, how are you? Good. Um, refresh our memories. Say it again? <laughs> I said refresh our memories, please. <laughs> So uh, this is our third annual Soctoberfest. Um, we've worked with the parks for the past three years. We have the event scheduled for September 30th. It's a beer tasting and wine tasting. Um, no beer or wine is sold. Um, so uh, beer, I think, is two ounce pour. Wine is one ounce. Um, we've always worked with the men and police department, have never had an issue with any of our guests. Um, we have roughly about 800 people that attend. All tickets are pre-sold, um, all 21 plus. We don't even allow high school kids to volunteer. Um, we check IDs at the door. We give everyone a band. We're super cautious. Um, even though we technically probably are overly cautious, we make sure yep. nobody's kind of hanging out at the park trying to come into our beer tent. Um, we have a great group of vendors, um, all craft breweries. Um, Actually, a couple of the major distributors have said our event is the best in Massachusetts um, for guests that show up. Um, usually, you know, if you go to some of these festivals, it's a lot different than how ours is run. Um, people are actually interested in what the beer is versus mm. drinking Just, as much yeah, beer, right. as, yeah. as many <laughs> samples as possible. Um, so we are requesting for a one-day liquor license. Um, same rules. We follow all the ABC. Um, guidelines um, and we have we do have a police officer on duty more for the Menden Upton Youth Soccer Association so none of us have to be the bad guy if anyone um, is not acting appropriately yeah, yeah, yeah. which we've honestly never had so we've been very fortunate how many years is this now uh, doing what? the same thing how many years doing the same three thing? years that's why I thought it was something like yeah that. we I raise never, our I've never heard any negative feedback no. or anything um, I, Dave will be back in like five minutes I don't know if you want to just wait till he comes back to vote just to make sure that he's got no problem whatsoever do you want to do that that's or? fine it doesn't matter to me okay if you do want to do you mind hanging out for just yeah, a few minutes I, till dave yeah, comes back and then absolutely. we'll search you back in and then just yeah. take the vote after that yeah that's really fine okay got nowhere to be all right we'll go on to consider amendment to the special license for the 350th committee Farm to table event scheduled for September 16th, 2017. I move to amend the hours for the special license granted on July 12th, 2017 to the 350th committee for the farm to table event scheduled for 9 16 17. The amended hours will be 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. on September 16th, 17. Step down and second. So, so hey. what, what is that changing from? from? I, I see where it's changing to, but I'm not. I'm sorry. It was till six. Oh. Okay, so you've gone from three to six to three to ten. Yeah, we, it was our fault. It was a miscommunication between the people applying for the license. So it was always it was always ever was supposed always to be three to, to ten. Events actually three to nine. We just figured ten will cover us if they run five minutes later. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> all right. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Consider a placement, the placement of a stop sign at the intersection of King Philip Path and Providence Streets. I move to place a stop sign at the intersection of King Philip Path and Providence Street. Um, well, go ahead. Step down second. All right, so I'm wondering if this is another one we want to just, I mean, it's, it seems pretty straightforward, uh, frankly, but do we want to wait for Dave or no? 
I don't know. Alan, do you have anything? I'm already filed for it. Okay. Yeah. I think we can. Yeah. May I, I, I can't see. three or four, mm. so we might as well wait. Um, what's the next copy? We've got, we've got that well, we know. Well, I can tell you either way, I'm not, whatever he says, I'm not going to change my opinion. Yeah, that you want him there. I yeah. think I'm the same way too. Right. Yeah, okay. So let's keep going. Yeah. Okay, so all in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> all right, I move to place a stop sign at the intersection of Massaway Way and Providence Street. Step down second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Consider placement stop sign at Pleasant and Park. I move to place a stop sign at the intersection of Pleasant and Park Streets. Step down. You might want to talk to him about that. Okay, let's, let's finish and then we'll go into the discussion. Step down second. <clears throat> okay, so Al, do you want to explain why? Uh, I, I talked with him and he seemed to think it made more sense because of the way the intersection is configured there to stop both sides of Park Street. Okay, so that would be a matter of expanding the amount of stop signage there than it would be to not do this. Yeah, because there's nothing there now. And if you're familiar with Pleasant, how it comes into Park Street, it's that really wide intersection down there. Yeah. If you stop them on Park Street, they're already committed to the intersection. Oh, okay, I understand that. But all I'm, all I'm trying to say is the input that you're expecting the chief to provide would have us adding this plus more, right? No, just take the not nothing on Pleasant and just put two on. Park. So on each direction on Park Street. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So maybe that's when we should pause till Dave gets here. Then, if that's the input that he's expecting them to have. I did talk to him about all of them, and he did express concern about that. And I kind of felt the same way a little bit too. Just if well, but how how could it hurt to had to, to have because then you'd end up with essentially a three-way or four-way stop, right? right? If you did this plus what Dave's what Chief is saying, right? right. How could that be? A, I mean, I, I don't. So that, that gets back to your point whether that really makes a difference to you. Yeah, it doesn't. <clears throat> I'm fine if you if you and Dave have talked about where the best placement of the signs are going to be. I'm fine. Yeah, but what he's saying is it goes somewhere else. Not right, here. it's going to go on Park Street coming from either direction. Those They're going to stop. So on the two in a different spot rather than one in this spot. Right. That's what he's saying. Yep. Yes. So that means what we what the motion I just made it isn't correct. It needs to be a little different. All right, so let's wait till Dave gets back. Okay. Okay, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Consider Chapter 90 project request for crack sealing on various streets. I move to approve the Chapter 90 project request for crack sealing of various streets. Step down and second. Discussion. Maintenance. Maintenance. Oh, no, nothing, nothing particularly. It's just various. Any further discussion no, on that? I'm fine. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Oops. Consider Chapter 90 reimbursement requests for $79,200 for the Hopedale Street Shim and Overlay Project approved on f May 25th, 2017. Oh, so the project's already been approved. <clears throat> Why are we voting for it again? Reimbursement. Okay, I, I'm, I'm confused by that, but okay. I move to approve the Chapter 90 reimbursement request for 79200 for Hopedale Street and Shim overlay project approved on 525-17. Step down a second. Is there something what was unique the, about What was the approval? What was the approval if it wasn't for this reimbursement? To do the job, so Chapter 90 money, they we get so much money, and then we vote at the annual town meeting to expend the funds. We expend the funds, we do the project requests, we do the work, and once the work is done, we put it for reimbursement, and the state reimburses us that money. 
No, so I, I get that, but I, uh, are you saying that we, and I don't recall, uh, maybe I'm just having a senior moment here, but um, are you saying that we, we, that we are voting on these twice, that we vote on to say, okay, go ahead and do them and then vote to get the reimbursement? You got it. Yes. Okay. I don't See, know like this one we just did for the crack, crack ceiling, we did the project request. Okay, but see that one doesn't say when it was approved. See that that's what we threw just, me off. Now we just yeah, we just did it. Thank you. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Consider designating Sunday, September seventeenth, as the fortieth annual Senior Citizens Day. 2017 Senior Citizen of the Year, Thomas Sawyer. What a great name, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I proudly move to designate Sunday, September 17th, 2017, <clears throat> as the 40th Annual Senior Citizens Day and name Thomas Sawyer Senior Citizen of the Year. Step down and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Is this the language of the? Yes. Am I reading this? You want me to, okay. My voice is not <sighs> up to par. Yeah, mine's not lovely either, but okay. Um, so the, this is the citation that we'll get. I mean, this is typically the, the, the citation we give out at the actual uh, award right. ceremony. It's just so it's read <coughs> the people of Menden as well as at the award ceremony. Um, this uh, citation will read, Menden Senior Citizens awarded to the Senior Citizen of the, oh, excuse me awarded to the Senior Citizens of Menden. Awarded to the Senior Citizens of Menden. This is no, this is not right. This must be a template. Awarded to Tom Sawyer. Whereas the town of Menden is truly blessed with senior citizens who have given their time and talents to make the town of Menden a better place to live, and whereas those seen, those elder citizens of Menden represent a wealth of knowledge and understanding. And whereas those elder statement, statesmen have offer, offered themselves freely and without compensation in an attempt to improve their community, and whereas throughout the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, citizens gathering to express their thanks to the seniors of the Commonwealth and to reaffirm the commitment of the Commonwealth and to safeguard and the independence and dignity of our elders. Now, therefore, we, the Board of Selectmen, of the town of Menden do hereby proclaim Sunday, the 17th day of September in the year 2017 as Senior Citizens Day in Menden, Massachusetts, and urge all citizens to express their appreciation and respect to those who have served this town so well throughout their lives given this 23rd day of August in the year 2017 in Menden, Massachusetts by the Board of Selectmen. So um, that is, if I remember right, that's a luncheon, right? And it's actually open to mm -hmm. any Mendy resident that we can fit in the hall, right? Mm -hmm. So right. anybody that's interested that wants to come down and say thank you to Tom Sawyer should feel free to do so. Very good. Okay, we'll go back to the special license for the Men and Upton Youth Soccer Association. I I saw was Dave. Do you mind coming up for a second? We had a few for you. Yep. <laughs> Famous last words getting out of the car. You know, you don't have me up first, right? <laughs> we got right on to you. Thanks, appreciate it. Hey, Camille, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? So the only question was, um, have you reviewed the plan for the men and up to youth? I don't think I've seen that yet today before that to me. Yeah. Oh, there's no plan. Yeah, no. <laughs> Typically, we work with them after the fact, after the liquor license is granted, and we just go over parking and. Yeah. The, qu the question I had really was just uh, I just wanted to make sure that as we are not aware of any problems in the past yeah. or the past three years. No, they've done a great job every year. Okay, that's all I wanted to hear. I deal with Camille all the time. Oh. She does a great job. So. So you have no concern nope. about doing it again. Nope. She's going to do a great job with it. That's okay. all I wanted to know. Okay. So all in had, favor? Had I made the had I made the motion? Yeah, already? we did. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great, thank you. Should I grab the license afterwards or I don't know Sorry. if it's yeah, so it right signed. signed. Okay. Right. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, email. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. 
just two copies? Just this two is separate a different ones. One. One's the amendment for 350th and one is... Oh, okay. So this is one copy for community. Yeah, I okay. actually have to copy it. So I got you. I have to go for the copy right now. Mm -hmm. The other issue was the Park Street stop signs. Yeah. Went up. We... <laughs> I waved him up a couple times. He refused to move. I don't know. He must have a... <laughs> Did you wave me up? I did, a couple times. I can see you. So I think the highway surveyor is the one that's got the complaints. I haven't got any complaints on it. Um, it's I a weird, it, I haven't got any complaints on it. I think the highway surveyor did. Um, it's a weird intersection. It's a Y there. Um, I've looked at it. No matter where you put the stop sign, I think it's going to make it even worse. So I don't know what the highway surveyor thinks. So you yeah. actually think putting a stop sign where we what did, we, what did we say again? It was at well, the intersection of Pleasant and Park. Right. I guess where are you going to put it? If you, if, if you put it at Pleasant going to Park, then you're not going to be able to put it close enough. Right. So you're going to put it back, and then someone's going to edge up to see, and if they get into an accident, they say, well, that guy never stopped. He wasn't at the stop sign. He was going. So we're going to have a hard time determining accidents. And then... The other intersection. So, what do you put on Park Street? You stop, put a stop sign on the street to continue on the street. I don't, because it's kind of a the way the Y goes. You could put it on Park, I guess. Two on Park Street. Yeah. Are, are we having accidents there? No. No. So, what's what's caused this to be raised? What's what's uh, citizens' complaint? Okay, so they're they're walking or they're running or walking they're driving. or whatever. They're driving. People are. I can't think of the last accident I've been over there. I've oh. never seen an accident there. I don't know okay, if I your feeling, it. Um, Chief, is that will actually cause more of a problem by putting a sign in? I think it will, because then you're going to have people who aren't used to it, knee-jerk and stopping, and now they're not going to look at the road. They could slam it. I mean, it could, it, I think it would create more problems. I don't know about what, what you I think. I mean, I would say that if you're going to put the two stop signs on Park Street, it seems almost not natural to do that because yeah. it's just a straight through road. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. all of a sudden there's a stop sign. And Pleasant, where are you going to put it? Because it's so far to right. wide. It's like it's as yeah. wide as this room to and get And if you're off. turning, it's just weird the way the intersection is. Okay, but why, why, why couldn't we um, paint it on the road like they do in lots of places? Stop right on the road, and then yeah. it says uh, stop 100 feet or stop 50 feet or whatever it is. Uh, like I've seen that many times. Mm -hmm. Stop sign ahead. Stop. Yes, yeah, stop ahead. You could. I mean, I just don't know so what the problem let's, is. Let, let, let's 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 pretend for a moment that there's a way to get this to get it to be visible to stop at the point that it makes sense to stop. Assuming that problem goes away, is there any other concern you have? <clears throat> well, I guess if you want to put one there, if you can figure that out, put it there. And we don't have, we've, like I said, uh, 21 years, I don't think I've ever booked an accident at that intersection. I live down the street from it, so does Alan. I don't think I've ever booked an accident there. I, I hate solving problems we don't have. Well, the other thing is it's very residential traffic. Like, the people that live there are the ones that travel that road mostly, right? It's okay, not like, I mean, isn't, the, isn't the bigger problem though, really, the, the speed people are going, going that's right. probably really what they're complaining about, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. One, one meeting there, gentlemen. You're going left on hey, hey. <coughs> he's the boss. Well, we're talking about you soon, we want to talk about that Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no, I was just suggesting that we'll, so we just passed a town meeting, right? The ability for us to designate certain zones, right, 20 miles an hour. Yeah, you make that incentive, right? right? So right we, now, huh? What is it right now, though? Do we know? Well, uh, it's unposted, it's, so it's it thickly right settled, now. so it's 30. It's probably a little. So wouldn't it make more sense to just have that area thickly settled if we really think it's a? But the only, again, the only problem I got with that is we're solving a problem we don't have. Yeah. I mean, I literally can't think of one accident I've ever booked there, or even heard of someone going to there for an accident. So can I can I ask this then? So so is it is it safe to say then, this ended up in front of us because a resident raised something to you? Yes, one complaint. Raised it to you. Yeah. Okay. And, and but you haven't had any. Right. Like, no emails. I haven't. Have you? No. Okay. 
So I, the other ones we've done have been yeah, those are different to us. Yeah. Yes, those are different. Yeah. So I, mean, I think the last one we did was Southwick. That was that was easy. It's a T. You know, there should be a stop sign there. But right, right, yeah. So so I don't know. I I kind of like to hear from the person. Right. Is it a speed issue that you know people are flying through that area, or is it just that they don't like that people aren't stopping? You know, I don't know what really what the exact problem is. Yeah, because if we did, we have more than one solution we could apply. Right. Okay. So I, I, I wouldn't want it to sound like we're dismissing right. we what the person is saying. But we, if I, anything, I'd, I'd like, I mean, maybe a yield sign would make more sense there from one direction that, you know, they know if they have to slow down and yield the traffic on Park Street. Yeah. Instead of cars just stopping, I mean, probably 20 hours over 24 hours a day. You're going to be the only car going through that intersection because no one else you're seeing over there. Could, could you see if you could encourage them to, 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 to approach us and send us a letter with the details of what their concerns are so that we can apply the most appropriate fix? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do that. Great. Did we ever, did he, I don't think we uh, made a motion. Did we email? We did, but it wasn't. Um, I don't remember. Okay. But we didn't it was the original. I can, yeah, I'll, okay. I can look tomorrow. Yeah. I'm glad we didn't vote on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a feeling. <coughs> okay. All right, what else do we have for um, Chief Curtis? At least another one, right? No. That was it? Okay. Yep. Okay, did senior citizen. That's good. Okay, I guess we're on fire, Chief, right? I think we're going to. Do we want to do that now, or do we want to? No, no. Plans. Uh, that, uh, up to you. Oh, oh wait. Gym. Well, that is, okay, yeah, we can. We can do that. Uh, consider compensation for acting fire chief. Yeah. Okay, so I move to approve compensation in the amount of $385 per week for acting fire chief retroactive to August 1st, 2017. Step down a second. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> Do you want to summarize what we're doing here? I mean, one of us needs to do it. Sure. So we have had the chief in an acting capacity in the fire station for a year as of this month. Mm -hmm. He has agreed to continue on in the position because we have been unable to uh, appoint a chief in the position. So he is taking compensation of 385, which is approximately $20,000 per year, which was the annual stipend that was previously received by the Public Safety Director. Yeah. So, um, so I think it should be said, um, and thank you very much, Chief, for actually having done that without any additional compensation for an entire year. Yeah, no problem. So I said I would. I might help out when I can. Yeah, on the behalf of people, Amanda, thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. And it's certainly not uh, the Chief's fault that we have not been able to replace that position well not for lack of trying from my standpoint right. either right right and we, <laughs> but i have faith that you guys will resolve it in a timely manner so yeah, yeah this isn't going to be a permanent thing yep i have <laughs> faith that you guys will resolve it so no. we've seen this before but yeah. it's not nope. going to happen again okay so so again the bottom line is we're just we're giving chief kersey the same thing temporarily that we were giving the previous chief which, right. frankly, I don't think is exorbitant given the right. extra duties that it equates to, what, 20000 a year, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Anything else? No? Yeah, I think that's mm, no. for now. <clears throat> Consider the appointment of Laura Newton as the part-time administrative assistant, assistant for senior services. I'm not making this motion. Obviously, I have no pull because my wife applied for that job. <laughs> All right. I move to appoint Laura Newton as the part time administrative assistant for senior services. Step three, grade M6, $19.39 for up to 18 hours per week. Step down, second. All in favor? I just, just a question. 
So we had many applicants for the position. It's a brand new position at the Senior Center and much needed. It was one of the additions from this year's budget. It's a part-time administrative assistant position that will be assisting the Senior Services Director. We, I believe we had 65 applicants. We narrowed that down to 15. Um, we asked for 10 written responses with questions. We had a five in person with a panel that included myself, the Senior Services Director, and the HR Benefits Coordinator. We scored all of the candidates. Laura Newton was the top candidate. She has accepted the position. She comes from an excellent background. She works for Meals on Wheels. She'll be a great fit for the organization. So we are very excited to have her added to the staff. Great. Yeah, there's no question that one of the many improvements that we've been able to make since uh, you came on board, um, Ms. Newton, is certainly the discipline that we apply to the hiring process. So I have no doubt that um, that a good job is done to determine the best candidate. So. Thank you. Absolutely. All in favor? Aye. Aye. She'll start in September. Okay. Excellent. Consider authorizing the town administrator to sign complete streets contract. I move to authorize the town administrator to sign the complete streets contract. Step down. Second. Discussion. Um, so the reason you're doing that, what, just to just to make life easier from a getting it done standpoint? Correct. Um, just like any of the other state grants that we've received in the past, there's administrative forms that have to be processed. Who is the recipient? Who signs in and out? That's usually me. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. So what we're talking about here really is not just signing this Complete Streets contract. You want authorization to sign the Complete Streets contract and any auxiliary documents that right. need signing. There's usually just okay, a I'm couple. Add that to the, I just want to make sure this is clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's they're oh, pretty actually, standard. Um, who's, so let, let's just just to add to the end of that mm -hmm. uh, and any auxiliary documents that are required for signing. Yeah. So. Okay. Anything else? All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Is there another spot on here about the project? Yeah. Um, I believe Alan said he was going to come to a meeting in September to go over the project okay. details. <clears throat> Consider Blue Wave Capital Host Agreement termination. I move to sign the Blue Wave Capital Host Agreement termination. Step down, second. Yeah, I, Discussion. I, know, we've, I know we've talked about this in pieces before. You're going to have to refresh my memory exactly what we're doing here. Sure. Um, so in uh, 2016, we signed an agreement to have Menden as the host for a project uh, that is now constructed in Menden over on Cape Road. And uh, for that, we were compensating the town of Menden for $10,000 a year. Uh, we have made the, the first $10,000 payment of that. Uh, and we now have uh, a customer um, in that portfolio that would be willing to host that, pro that uh, project. And that would relieve Menden of any of these duties uh, ahead of time. Um, you know, and, and also terminate. at $10,000. No, but so well for the last year. So we are going to get twenty thousand dollars in total for one year of actually providing our name on the project. Okay. And it would be a total of thirty thousand um, dollars overall. So we've paid the ten thousand, and this would have uh, twenty thousand dollars paid up front, and um, and then terminating all. Termination future. agreement will. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. Good. Great. Further discussion. <clears throat> Very lucrative, solar. <laughs> All in favor? Yes. Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, should I For, to sign that or? They can, they can do it now. Like we can, yeah, we get, can it get it done. That's cute. We'll copy here if that's helpful. We have another. 16 is solar too, so you can stay up here if you'd like. It's just about the notice of the 36 Milford coming online, which oh. they might have a question. So that you might just have. answer. Yeah. Right. They, they may. <clears throat> okay, just the one? Just one copy is all you need? Uh, unless you want us to provide a, a wet signature back. Um, yes. Okay. 
then two copies would be best. And yes. And that's exactly what uh, Brandon provided to us that document. Yes. Consider notice of commercial operation, solar generation facility, 36 Milford Street. I move to sign the notice of commercial operation for the solar generation facility at 36 Milford Street. Step down second. Discussion. So, I'm going to explain it. Uh, Ex exactly as it, it came online in July the actual production at the facility. The town uh -huh. needs to officially acknowledge that we know that it went online in order to begin the payment process. Okay. <laughs> will, the, will the requirements to sign things never end over there? <laughs> no. I, Not if you want to continue to receive the money that comes with the project. Well, I, I, small, I, I understand small. that, but it just every time I turn around, there's some new thing that's got to be signed. They want you to acknowledge that you know that they are doing what they said that they were going to be Just doing and that we will be anyway. getting paid. Yeah, no, no, you're acting right. you. yep. so. Is this a Blue Wave? Uh, yes. It is a Blue Wave project. I didn't yeah. know that it was a Blue Wave request. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. stepped down a second already. Right? Yep. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. It's all good. Right. I think you can officially go now, yeah. You are <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Great deal. Reminds me of Brandon. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Yep. Consider the appointment of the uh, Board of Selectmen member as an alternate to the CMRPC. That's one of us. Yeah, and honestly, I've been the alternate, and I have done, I have not attended any of them. <coughs> I've done my mail surveys but I don't have time to do it oh that's why that's on here yeah <laughs> well I figured it, I, I can't do it I just you can't I do don't. anything with it right now I anyway. moved to appoint selectman Burke as the board of rules <laughs> <laughs> that, that you can do huh? you can do that that's what I want to do I can't, I can't I'm already on to right okay. so well, actually it's, I think I was chairman then at the time Fine. Second. <laughs> All those in favor. <laughs> Aye. Aye. <laughs> uh, okay, solve that, that was problem. So we'll see what he acts like when he comes oh, in. He gonna... might be upset with us. <laughs> we'll tell him tomorrow. Uh, well, hey, they're not going to, they may not end up with any more of attendance than they've gotten anyway. <laughs> it can't get worse, right? Yeah. <laughs> as long as he fills out the votes. <laughs> Consider appointment of Lynn Roberts to the Menden Historical Commission for a term to expire June 30th, 2020. I move oh. to appoint Lynn Roberts to the Menden Historical Commission for a term to expire on June 30th, 2020. Step down second. 2020? That's what it says. Already? Yeah, 17. Yeah, three. That's 2020. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, all in favor? Okay, well. Oh, um, discussion. Yeah, so. Before I left for the selectman meeting, I was informed by my lovely wife that she would not be coming to the board of selectman meeting, and that she can that that they, we can assume that the historical commission is very happy with who's been put forward. Okay. Okay. So their recommendation is these people here. So before the policy is in place, we're gonna. This is what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it actually fits within the mold of that anyway, because these candidates have actually been. They've been to the commission. They they right. they're exactly. well known to them. Yes. Yeah. Now, I'd like them to actually appear here before the Board of Selectmen for appointment, but I will right. okay. hold my... Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> Consider the appointment of Janice Muldoon Moores to the Historical Commission for a term to expire June 30th, 2020. I move to appoint Janice Muldoon Moores to the Historical Commission for a term to expire June 30th, 2020. Step down and second. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Consider the appointment of Tina Jankowskis to the Cultural Council for a term to expire on June 30th, 2020. I move to appoint Tina Jankowskis to the Cultural 
Council for a term to expire on June 30th, 2020. Step down and second. Discussion. <clears throat> I thought I thought she had put her hand up for the Agricultural Council. Did I make a mistake there? It's a cultural I think council. So. I know for a fact she did put a thing in for cultural. Okay, but okay, I fine. If, I don't know if she All did right. one for both. It says historical, com no, that's the other one. Yeah. Right. Okay, yep, no problem, good, yep. Yes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Consider opening the warrant for the November special town meeting. I move to open the warrant for the November special town meeting on November 11th, no, sorry. November 21st, 2017. Step down and second. Okay. It, Discussion. I mean, there's, there's, there's no reason we wouldn't do that at this point, right? I mean. Right. right. We need to open it. Yeah, this is the, this is the timeline with, yes. uh, in order to meet that. Yeah. Last okay. year we opened it in July. Yeah. And yeah, we're a little late, actually. But we just wanted to get organized last year, and now we are organized. Yeah. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Let me go back here and try to miss anything. That's a lot of business we got done here. <laughs> Skip anything? Wow, there's a lot of things here. We're very early. I, I knew you would be. So Excellent organization, Laura. Laura. Because <laughs> so, we're not going to talk about that yet because we don't no, have. No, they'll be here at 7.30. So we could adjourn. Sorry, we'll be here at 7 MRI will be here at yeah. 7.30 to discuss 21. Okay. We could do executive session 23. And then go in and come out. Yep, you're going to have to go in and come out probably anyway. Yeah, that's 20 minutes. That's probably enough to do what we need to do for you. Correct. And then we could do the other one at the end. Correct, together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of motioning that, well, just don't say we'll can reconvene only to adjourn because that's not true now. Right. And okay. Move to enter into executive session under Mass General Law, Chapter Thirty A, Section Twenty One for two unrelated purposes. The first is under purpose three to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigation position of the public body and the chair so declares. Firefighter negotiations, JLMC update and MUP-16-5314 unfair labor practice charge. Second is under purpose three to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiations with non-union personnel or contract negotiations with non-union personnel for the town administrator's contract. We will reconvene in open session. Roll call vote is needed. Oh, so I got a second, right? Right. Yeah, second. All those in favor? Schofield, aye. Real aye. Okay, now, so Mike, what do, what do we have to do to come out and go back in? So we just read everything for both for the whole executive session we want to talk about, right? So we're going to do half of it and then come back in and then go do the rest of it, go back in the executive session to the rest of it. So do we have to do anything after else special? Session, after we do 21. We I need understand, to, but do, will we have to read this again, again or? Uh, just to be on the safe side and do a part of duty. Yeah. I mean, you're going to come back into open session so the public knows that you're going to come back and yeah. reconvene. Yeah. And at that point, I would say again what the purposes are to go into executive session, to reconvene executive session. Okay, so we can we can say to anybody listening at home, we will reconvene no later than 7:30, right? Mm -hmm. Plus, um, Chris said he'll be here at 7:35, so okay. perfect. Great. So we're taking a okay. Good. 